Hey guys, what is up? TML here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 battery issue. So without further ado, let's get into it. So guys, for none of you that know that what's been happening, basically Samsung's new flagship model, the Samsung Galaxy Note 7, has been having some issues with its battery. That's right, the battery has been blowing up. Quite literally, it's blowing up, it's exploding. Now this might seem a bit funny, even though it's not, because some people have been quite badly affected but it couldn't be any better for Apple right now with the new buzz of the iPhone 7. This is literally added to this glory because all the hype's been building up and Samsung to really take a hit. This later on is kind of a big downfall for Samsung, but a big plus for Apple. But nevertheless, Samsung have been selling these from the 14th of September, I believe, in like other countries like the US. And in the UK, it was officially available to purchase on the 2nd of September and basically guys there have been over 2.5 million of these phones being sold and only 35 that's right 3 5 35 of these phones have been affected that is like 0. 0 I think it's like 0.1 percent of everyone that's ever bought one that has had issues with now Samsung are a very big companies like with Samsung and Apple there's always gonna be a big rivalry so even if it's a tiny thing like the iPhone 6 did have the bend problem bend gate problem that was a big downfall on Apple now Samsung are having this battery issue Samsung just released a statement I've got it on my iPad right here so I'm just gonna read it out I'll put it on the screen as well. So basically what it says in Samsung's statement is that Samsung is committed to producing the highest quality products and we take every incident report for our value customers very seriously. In response, recently reported case of the new Samsung Galaxy Note 7, we conducted a thorough investigation and found a battery cell issue. So they did actually do a full on routine and they found that the battery was actually an issue with not just the 35, but in fact all of them. They also said, to date, as of September the 1st, there has been 35, like I mentioned before, 35 cases that have been reported globally, and we are currently conducting a thorough inspect inspection with our suppliers to identify possibly aff affected batteries in the market. However, because our customer safety is an absolute priority, at Samsung, we have stopped the sales of the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. All those that have had it pre-ordered, I think they won't be coming now. They'll be either shipped back and then sent to get a new one. And for all those that already do have one or managed to get one before the whole incident happened, for customers who already have the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 device, we will voluntarily replace their current device with a new one over the coming weeks. Instructions on the replacement process will be shared next week. They've also said, we acknowledge the inconvenience this may cause in the market, but this is to ensure that Samsung can use to deliver the highest quality product to our customers. We are currently working with our partners to ensure the replacement experience is as convenient and efficient as possible. And that is it for today's video. This was just a quick video getting you guys updated about the new Samsung Galaxy Note 7 and the battery issue. If you do want to see more content like this, I will be helping you guys out, letting you know when to buy phones, what's if there are any issues like this on any phones to hold off. And if you do like that sort of stuff, I highly recommend you guys go and subscribe. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video this week where I will be unboxing the Galaxy Note 7 before I had no idea that it was explosive. So I'll see you guys then. TML out.